What's up guys, today we have some stuff from Toolganizer. They were kind enough to send out some cool looking orange. I guess uh, he saw my box down here. And uh, yeah, it looks like a cool match. It looks a little darker, but uh, we'll take some shots next to it and see how it looks like inside the drawers in a bit. Uh, looks like also some updated stuff here too. I have seen some differences in some of the items here. Yeah, Toolganizer, check them out, Toolganizer.com. Fairly decent price stuff for uh, 3D printed items. And he is just pumping away at uh, all diff all sorts of stuff for power tool holders, all makes and models, and power battery holders. And, like, just it, it is packed with stuff. This is not some um, half uh, site with... 3D printed stuff with someone making it on the side and just has a few items. This is like full blown, like everything. And you can also contact them to make like custom items like this. I believe that uh, this is not on the site and uh, it's a slightly different. It's got like a slight different wall on the front one right here. Um, pretty good uh, printed out, not, not too bad at all. And the space here for the magnets here, they glue them in and uh, yeah, make them fairly priced. I believe there's more stuff coming in the future. So yeah, def definitely worth uh, giving them a shot. If you have some sort of organization um, drawer or something that's just oddball or something, it's always worth it to take a look on their site and see what they got. You never know. Um, I believe I want to start, I'll start off with that right here and uh, see how it fits in the drawer. Not too high, so it'll fit in your typical shallow drawer. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be good for wrenches and whatnot let's put some wrenches in this one and uh yeah let's uh, we could do it right now right here on this drawer right here i cleared it out a little bit so we can uh see each one and see how it works and the magnet sticks pretty decent through this foam this foam is rather thick so it doesn't sink down quite well and the magnet does go right through it so that's pretty cool right there already so far uh let's put some yeah let's put some Wrenches on it. Uh, this is a S and K crescent wrench. is rather thick, so that's perfect for how thick that is. So that holds quite well. Um, yeah, probably good for some thin pliers too, as well too. So whatever your heart desires can go in there. Uh, seems like it'd be a little bit too wide for thin wrenches like that. But your thicker wrenches like this old Craftsman USA stands up quite nicely. The Joker. Uh, sits a little bit to the side so you can see the number a little bit right there. It's not too bad and yeah, doesn't move. That's cool right there and uh, let's put this off to the side and next up let's look at the can holders here. We have two colors here. Actually threw in a green. Uh, the green looks quite nice. So these colors are a little bit more neon orangish color. So it kind of looks a little dark in the camera right here, but yeah, there's more neon. Uh, let's try one of these out. Um, they got a magnet on the back and the top and a screw hole, just in case you have nothing that's not, if it's not metal, you could go into wood. And um, yeah, let's see how they work. All right, so as we can see here, it sticks okay, but the coating on these boxes are a little different. So when you put a can on it, we have, uh, sinking action here so not gonna work on this unless uh, you're not afraid to screw in a screw in there let's try it on a different box all right so over here as we can see there's a different finish on this one it is more of a grip it's it, it's it's smooth but it's just a different grip on there i guess but uh it does move down over time as you put the can on and take it off this is rather a large can here too as well Grab the biggest can I can find for it, but yeah, holds quite well. Not bad for a little can holder here. So I actually have the Matco one here. This is rather pricey. You can also screw that one into the wall. Uh, doesn't have the number on here. Sorry, I don't have the number on hand, but uh, should be easy to find. They just released those. I believe Vim Tools makes it for them. And uh, as we can see here, uh, yeah, it's not holding. <laughs> It slides right down. You have to put it sideways. That's the only way you're gonna have to do that one. Check this out. Sideways only. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good advantage of having that little lip down there. And it does beat the Matco one at it, but Matco is rather strong. 
All right, next up here we have the wrench holders. I have the Capri Tools thin wrenches here, and the reason is is because I was going to put the Craftsman set in here. I have a whole set of these uh, metric Craftsmans here, but they do not fit. They're rather thick, and yeah, this is upside down because uh, we got eight to 22 from the small to large here and then we have the 8 to 25 on this one so it's longer this is about eight inches and that's about uh, nine inches right there yeah but unfortunately they do not fit but they do sit upright on maybe the gear wrench and you get more space here they're eight inches and nine inches yeah you're definitely shrinking it down which is nice and they are staged on the smaller sizes so you can grab them a lot easier as, or see the numbers a lot easier too as well so that's pretty cool that they're staged like that uh, yeah, he probably is watching this video right now and uh, probably might make an edit to make them a little bit wider. Uh, you never know. And if you, you are interested in uh, organizing your Craftsman one, just give him an email and see what he can do for you. But yeah, pretty cool. So the eights here, eight here. So you have the uh, larger sizes on the top here and the smaller size down here. Not bad. Three magnets underneath. And it seems like they hold well with this uh, small amount of Capri that I have in here so far. So yeah. So far looking good. Those are holding on still well. Let's go on to the next. All right, next up here we have the screwdriver holders. They seem to fit fine on some of the handles here. Uh, can't go too far up on that one. It's a little fat, but uh, a good average size. A little fat on this one, but it'll sit more down on there like that. If you can see, let's get a side shot here. See, it doesn't fit all, all the way with this Vera one here, but it fits nicely like that. And we can see there's three magnets underneath on these large ones. And we have a washer and a magnet here. And the reason is that if you want to put them in this orientation, they stick side by side and hold a lot better. So when you have it on the drawer here in an open space, I'm not going to slide up around on you. So they're together and they're magnetized on the bottom. Each one has three. So yeah, it makes it more sturdier. Seems like a little update on the design there. And here's the smaller ones. Same concept for your small picks and whatnot and smaller screwdrivers. You can stagger them like that or put them side by side. Lots of options on that. And I believe these are still available on the site. This is already a tray with three on one side, three on the other. And it's already um, staggered for you. And is it larger? Uh, it's about the same size. But uh, yeah, it'll hold a lot better there when it sits down away from the tray right there. And uh, yeah, looks like four magnets underneath this one. And it's up to you what design you want to choose on that. Pretty cool. And that completes the screw screwdriver organizer here. All right, next up here we have the half inch, three eighths and quarter extension holders here. So that's pretty cool. It has a little cradle there. Depending on the length of your extension, you can also join them together with the side washer and magnet here. Either way, it holds quite nicely. The more you add, the more stronger it holds. Once again, this foam is pretty thick here and it doesn't uh, sit quite well. It's not quite memory and it sits pretty thick. So yeah, these magnets are holding well. Got two magnets on these. We have two magnets on these as well. So pretty cool. A nice way to organize your extensions here quarter inch as well same thing here and as we can see we have the old design here that don't have the washers they have like three magnets on that one yeah and yeah i guess the washers help out or it looks like larger magnets on the newer ones and the washers help out as well so he's constantly improving his design that's good to see yeah that's it on these ones and uh, yeah pretty cool extension holders I know extensions are pretty hard to organize and uh, here's a solution for the extensions all right next up here we have the ratchet organizers they hold quite well same concept with the washer on one side and the magnet on the other side here an upgrade to the old version that didn't have anything and looks like smaller magnets as well. It's always cool to see him improving on the product, which is quite nice. What's nice about these as well is when you buy a new ratchet, you can just add another one, add another one, add another one. You can also take another ratchet and go the opposite way. 
make some space and you can also stagger them as well to make space even tighter, which is cool like that. You just go like that. This is the Viha ratchet. It's rather large here. Uh, and here we have the large gear wrench. This is quite large. The handle is nice. If I were to get the half inch, I would definitely not get the comfort grip. The comfort grip is rather large on the half inch. But other than that, these have been quite well with the 90 tooth and the flex and the half inch, the three eighths and the quarter inch have been super nice. Definitely in the comfort grip as well. The comfort grip is super nice on the three eighths and the quarter inch. I have these at home and I have the comfort grip at work, which I've been using and they are quite thin, which is nice. And yeah, 90 tooth has been great so far. And these ratchet holders are super awesome. And uh, let's go last but not least to these bit holders. Uh, let me see if I can find a bit for them. All right, I meant to say bit socket holder. Uh, this is a Kyoto Nipros high polished chrome bit socket. And yeah, it has a little bit of opening there for a bit socket and for your long ones. So this is why I have this here just to show you for the long bit sockets, it'll hold and you can adjust them to whatever length. If you have a mid length one or a long one, you can go as you go with that and lay them down. And a lot of them don't fit in your top drawer. So you do, you have no choice but to lay them down. So this is a good option to organize them laid down. You can easily grab them. Uh, yeah, they are different than your extension holders. The extension holders are a little bit fatter there. And uh, yeah, here is the um, quarter inch there for a size comparison. Quarter inch is different as an extension holder versus a bit socket holder. So there you go on that. All right, there you have it. The tool organizer for you. Cool to see how this stuff works. And uh, definitely check down below. I have a, a discount code I put down below. I don't make anything off it. It's just there for you guys. And uh, just giving a shout out to uh, this awesome guy making this stuff and making more options for you to see. Pretty cool. And thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for staying till the end. And with this injury, this fresh injury that I had with this thing. Oh my God. This is a pocket hole jig from Craig. I was separating these two halves right here. And it got me right here. It's rather sharp in there. And what this thing does, it uh, makes pocket holes in cabinets so you can screw wood together, make cabinets, whatnot. Yeah, working away at my tool shed. Uh, yeah, not too familiar with woodworking, but I'm getting the hang of it. It's a new experience for me. I'm a mechanic and I work with metals, not woods. And yeah, wood is a whole nother animal for me lately. But uh, yeah, enough of that. Thank you for watching, guys, and on to the next.